hi guys welcome to my channel my name is kiki so in today's video we're going to be making some kenyan kebabs and this is how i make them so you want to start with uh, cooking your meat first so for my meat it was a bit fatty so i didn't add any oil onto it happy stop and then now i'm just adding some uh, garlic and some scallions that's my choice of onions you can use any kind of onions red onions white onions it just depends on you i like the taste of scallions in my kebabs and samosas that's why i chose to use um, scallions but you can use any kind of uh, onions that you would prefer and uh guys i'm so sorry i lost the footage of me adding my spices but these are the spices that i used that is salt paprika black pepper garlic powder and garam masala i used a teaspoon of each i also added some mango chutney and i used one tablespoon of the mango chutney i also lost footage of that i don't know <laughs> what was happening on this day but yeah if you do have mango chutney do add a tablespoon of it if you do not have mango chutney it's okay you can leave it out as well i'm also going to be adding two tablespoons of ketchup you can use tomato paste if you have some or blended tomatoes i like the ketchup and uh, this was my result this how um your meat is going to look like so now we're going to jump into making the kebabs so before you even start making your kebabs i'd like to say you need your meat to fully cool down like for it to be room temperature or cold you know you i'm also going to be using three eggs and that's just a plate to transfer when i'm done and you're going to need some all-purpose flour so you might need more eggs depending on how many kebabs you're making or how much your meat is so for starters i started with three but i will add two more as time goes so i started with three because I wasn't sure so sure if i'm going to use all of them and i didn't want to waste eggs because kebabs can be messy you're going to see that as we go so if you're not subscribed yet, this will be the perfect time for you to subscribe please don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can get notified anytime i upload a new video for my returning subscribers asante nisana mungu abariki god bless you thank you so much now when you're doing or when you're creating your kebabs you want to start by you know squeezing the meat together and making it into a bowl and then shaping it into the kebab then after that you want to dip it into your flour and then dip it into your eggs now you really need to be very gentle with this process because if you're not the meat is going to the shape or whatever shape whether you make a ball or whether you make a kebab you know shape it's going to disintegrate if you're not you know very gentle with this so as i said squeeze it together first into a bowl then shape it into a kebab then just roll it onto your flour gently then dip it into your egg so i'm just going to be repeating that process squeezing the meat into a bowl then shaping it into a kebab then rolling it onto the flour and dipping it into the egg until all the meat is done So guys, if you're going to make a lot of uh, kebabs, like me, mine are not so many, but yeah, you want to do them like this and then leave them in the flour and then just put them in your egg as you put them in your oil. Because if you do them like this, you see the egg is dripping off, is dripping off the kebab. But I did this to demonstrate to you guys uh, what to do so this was just for demo so for you keep them all like this when you're done then dip them in the egg then in your oil so this is going to be a repetitive uh, action because you want to create as many 
layers or coats with the egg as possible it also keeps your meat intact the more coats you do so some people do two coats some people do three coats it will just depend with you whatever you want and how many eggs you have so this is what i meant when i said keep them all in the flour then dip them in the egg and then dip them in your oil instead of what i've done before because this way the egg stays on the kebab so for the first time that you're going to be dipping your kebab into the oil um we're not really concerned at this point with um you know cooking it completely to a point where it's having the brown color we just want the egg to cook a little bit and then turn it so when we are finished with um, all the coats is when now we're going to let it cook nicely and have that nice brown color so you do want to stay near your stove <laughs> or your cooking pan this is not something that you will be cooking as you walk away because egg cooks very fast remember the meat is cooked the only thing that is cooking here is the egg so as soon as you dip it you want to do it in steps of two so if you dip the first one you let it cook and then when you dip the second one you go back to the first one and turn it because the egg we just want the egg to cook a little bit remember we're going to let the egg cook fully and give it a nice brown color at the end so just pick one dip it turn it around dip it back pick a second one dip it and then go back to the first one and turn it before you go to another one this way you're just going to make sure that the egg stays on the kebab so as you can see um, my tongs that i'm using to turn the kebabs around is also getting some egg and as i'm dipping it into the oil the egg is also cooking on the tongs this is how quickly the egg uh, cooks so um, i'll just be wiping that as i go so make sure you wipe on yours um to make it easier for you you know when there's all that egg in there it's gonna you know stick and make it hard for you to maneuver so as i said i'm just wiping it off it's quite easy uh it's not stuck on there uh pretty hard so it's quite easy to just wipe it so this is something you want to repeat doing as you go so as i said you want to put as many coats as you can or depending on how many eggs you have i do three coats some people do more than that so it will just depend on you the size also depends on you it's a preference they do not have to be this small i like them this small they can be bigger than this so this is the last round and i'm just letting them cook and get that nice brown color before i take them off so guys we've come to almost the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching me make these kebabs please let me know down in the comment section what you think about it and how you make them and if this is something you've even ever tasted from kenya is a very common kenyan snack and i enjoyed making it for you guys so guys i guess i'll see you on the next one